and he'll take it forward from here. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for the ones who've made it over here uh, for our big little film. Uh, the response to the trailer has been phenomenal. All of you have been very kind and the love has been... Uh, it's there to see. Like, we crossed a million within two days. Uh, we are nearly five million uh, combined. Uh, if you look at our trailer hits with movie trailers and the T-Series platform, the song reached a million within three days. So it's been organic love, which is always a little more special than uh, the other way around. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the trailer, we'd like to play it once more over here. We just quickly recap what Mona Darling is all about. And uh, we were a little shocked the past few days after what Mr. Mahesh Bhatt said. So we will get to that after having seen the trailer because I went and met him. And what transpired between me and him is there in a little video which we'll be playing today. But we'll begin today with uh, the trailer of Mona Darling, India's first social media thriller. Uh, जी फिल्म एक फ्रेंड uh, रिक्वेस्ट पे आधारित है और uh, वो फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट एक प्रोफाइल पेज से जा रहा है जिसका नाम है मोना डालिंग तो ऐसा नहीं है कि हमने किसी टिटलेटिंग फैक्टर की वजह से या सिर्फ क्योंकि ग्रैबिंग है इसलिए लिख दिया ये नाम uh, लड़की का नाम है मोना राहेजा फिल्म में जो किरदार सुजैना प्ले करती हैं और कोई इनके साथ प्रैंक करता है और उनके पेज का नाम पलट के मोना डालिंग कर देता है और ये गायब हो जाती हैं तो क्योंकि फिल्म की नींव उस प्रोफाइल पेज पे बेस्ड है इट वॉज ओनली यू नो इट मेड कंप्लीट सेंस शशि ने जब मुझे स्क्रिप्ट पहली बार सुनाई थी तभी उसका नाम मोना डालिंग था तो ऐसा नहीं हमने कुछ चेंज किया है शुरू से इस फिल्म का नाम मोना डालिंग ही रहा है और इसीलिए है इफ यू वुड वॉन्ट एट समथिंग प्रिटी मच वॉट आंशुमेंड इट मोना डालिंग फॉर ऑल द राइट रीजन होपफुली नॉन ऑफ द रॉन्ग वंस इट जस्टन्स दैट uh it's most appropriate for for this particular script uh so much so that we couldn't even conceive of making it if we hadn't got yeah. the title yeah uh, I, including the underscore in the title actually hamare paas title nahi ye bhi bahut interesting story thi humne picture shuru kar di thi aur title kisi aur ke paas tha bahut hi bade producer ke paas to kafi samay laga title nikalne mein aur humne picture shuru tab tak nahi ki jab tak hame title nahi mila क्योंकि ये फिल्म किसी और नाम से बनी नहीं सकती थी क्योंकि फिल्म की नींव जैसा मैंने कहा मोना डालिंग ही है तो दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई इट्स कॉल्ड मोना डालिंग यार आई एम अ नो बडी टू बैक एनी थिंग टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई एम जस्ट एन एक्टर हु ट्राइंग टू डू गुड वर्क If you pick up the kind okay. of films I have done, it's uh, it'll give you the reason whether it's Love, Sex, or Dhoka, Bakrapur, Choranga. These are films with which I have travelled, or even X for that matter. Very experimental, but a film I believed in. Uh, we decided to make it together because it's a script I really believe in, and I like watching commercial cinema. I'm being very honest with all of you. This film is the perfect bridge of content, which is grammatically correct, cinema-wise, and appealing enough for the masses because the genre itself thrillers is something that appeals to one and all so the idea was to i was eventually going to produce sometime in life not this early but uh, when this film kept shifting hands uh, we were worried ki koi aur social media pe film na bana le because it's a very hot topic in fact we keep discussing this ki we are surprised ki aur filme nahi ban rahi hain in fact hum log wo comments padhte hain कि हॉलीवुड uh, की दो फिल्में बनी हैं अनफ्रेंडेड और फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट हम लोग बहुत सरप्राइज हैं कि सिर्फ दो ही फिल्में बनी हैं दुनिया में और जस्ट टू स्टेट फैक्ट्स शशि हैड नरेटेड दिस फिल्म टू मी इन 2011 सो द स्क्रिप्ट इज रजिस्टर्ड फ्रॉम जैन 2012 एंड ऑल दीज फिल्म दैट पीपल आर कंपेयरिंग इट टू हैव बिन मेड आफ्टर दैट सो दैट शुड पुट टू रेस्ट दी आइडिया दैट दिस इज इंडीड एन ओरिजिनल स्क्रीन प्ले ओनली द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ सोशल मीडिया is somewhat similar and we are very surprised ki abhi tak sirf india mein aur film mein bani nahi hai so we were scared ki koi jaldi humse na bana le kyunki ye script ghoom rahi thi market mein char panch saal se and that's why we decided to take the jump and make it no no it's been 10 months this film began in april last year and i think i can put my neck on the line and say that i finished it faster than anyone else can 
uh, and I take a lot of pride in that. Yes. Uh, w was it more shocking uh, that uh, Bhat Saab says ki don't watch Mona? First of all, when you heard about it, uh, was it more shocking for you that the guy, people loving and uh, the way he promotes the film? Uh, it's a very interesting story with Bhat Saab. He had called me after Love, Sex, and Dhoka had released. And he said, I haven't seen your film, but my daughter and wife liked it. So I wanted to get him, so what is the thing? So I went to meet him and I went to the jacket and jacket. So he said, you look like a child, you look like a child, you look like a child, you don't get a job for 3-4 years. You don't get a job for hero. So from then, I met him now. Because we made a film which is a genre that their production house specializes in. And uh, he said, the trailer is great, but I'm going to tell people not to watch it. So yes, it shocked me at first. Uh, at the same time, it made me happy, because he said the trailer is good. So it didn't make sense to me, why is he saying that? And he said, uh, because the content of the film and the energy that it's reflecting through the trailer is something I have not seen in the recent past. So people should digest it differently. And therefore, this whole marketing idea of an anti-campaign came about. And he said, I will voice it for you, because I believe that this is different content which needs to be pushed. Uh, my question is for Anshuman, Suzanne, and Divya. You people have worked with Sanjay Suri, sir. He's quite senior to you in this industry. So how was the experience? Were you all guys intimidated with him? Well. Uh, it was, uh, it didn't feel like, you know, he was, uh, we've grown up watching him and uh, Jankar Stop. Beats has don't, been... don't say that, don't make him feel old. No, I mean, yeah. We've teenager. not grown up watching him, we were in our teens when we started yeah, watching him, the, so... Yeah, the time we used to, like, actually pay attention to the men in the film. I've grown I've up watching Nasiruddin Shah. Yes. She, she grew up late. <laughs> <laughs> she grew up right, late. Right. <laughs> so anyway, but um, I think he made us very comfortable. In fact, my first scene was with him, and I was literally shivering, I remember. And I think it's just his aura, the way he is. He's so composed, and he is, he's such a gentleman. He'll always make you feel like, I didn't feel like a newcomer who was working with him for the first time. So uh, he's very warm. I think he's one of the most warmest actors I've worked with. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I was petrified. <laughs> Which is why you're sitting next still to me is. now. <laughs> I'm still petrified. <laughs> but yeah, I remember the first day you told me uh, you don't have to be like other serious actors and stay in character if you don't want to. You can do it your own way. You don't have to pretend to be a serious actor or stay in the character and stress yourself over this. Just you know you've learned the lines, you know you've done all the work, now just get out there and act. <laughs> Stop pretending to be a an actor. Anti-act campaign. <laughs> yeah. Anti-actor campaign. <laughs> that actually uh, really calmed me down and actually helped me do that day. Otherwise, I would, I would have been a wreck that day. So thank you. I worked with him uh, in Choranga. So I had this image of Sanjay Suri before I went on set. Because I'd only met Bikas Mishra, who directed Choranga, and Onir, who was uh, one of the producers, along with Sanjay. So my first interaction with him was very strange, because he was everything else than what I had imagined. So there is a hardcore, funny Punjabi in Sanjay Suri, and I request the industry to make a comedy with him, where he gets to, I call him Bobby Pra with love. Because uh, he has a side to him, which I hope we see in a film sometime soon. Uh, as an actor, he's very giving. And I'm not saying that because he's just sitting here. It's uh, fabulous for someone as senior as him and as seasoned as him to not just tell you and share with you your ex his experiences, but also listen to what you're saying. And he always has a ear. And he's always open to discussions and always open to ideas which I feel very comforting as an actor, because it's never yehi karna hai. It's ye bhi kar sakte hai, ye bhi kar sakte hai, ye bhi kar sakte hai, let's jam together. And acting is a very organic process. So it's great to be with an actor who gives you that space and that freedom. And I personally love him. He's like uh, an elder brother now. He's been guiding me through while I was producing this. I think everyone was a little surprised at the pace at which the film's been made. And uh, Congratulations for that. Yeah. Thank you all for such lovely words. Itni yeah. tarif, and uh, it 
इतना उम्र का तकाजा दे दिया लेकिन बट थैंक यू वेरी मच अंशुमन सुजाना दिव्या एंड शशि थैंक यू फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद जेन जी इसके दो जवाब हैं एक तो होता है कि चैलेंजिंग नहीं बट हर एक्टर को हर परफॉर्मेंस से पहले थोड़ी नर्वसनेस आई थिंक वो अच्छी बात है क्योंकि वो आपको आपकी कितनी तैयारी है अगर आप किसी पहाड़ से या आप स्काई डाइविंग भी कर रहे हैं जितना बढ़िया से बढ़िया डाइवर भी हो एक थोड़ी नर्वसनेस क्या करता है कि आपको प्रिपेयर बेटर करता है आप कॉशस होते हैं तो उस तरीके से जब भी मैं परफॉर्म करता हूँ चाहे कोई बहुत मुझसे सीनियर एक्टर हो या कोई नया टैलेंट हो तो एक थोड़ी एक पॉजिटिव नर्वसनेस होती है वो कि आपकी तैयारी है और बट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स टू ऑल ऑफ देम ऑल ऑफ देम इन्होंने मैं बिकॉज ऑफ सम डेट्स रीडिंग्स के लिए ज़्यादा नहीं आ सका था वर्कशॉप्स के लिए बट अब इनका काम देखेंगे और अगर इनके साथ अब आप आगे पिक्चर फिल्म में भी देखेंगे और जब सेट पर दे वो सो प्रिपेयर्ड सो प्रिपेयर्ड दैट आई डोंट थिंक शशि हैड टू गो इनटू थर्ड टेक फोर्थ टेक और समथिंग कोई टेक्निकल फॉल्ट होगा वगैरह परफॉर्मेंस वाइज दे वो फुली प्रिपेयर्ड एंड वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट यस एंड दे ऑल्सो एक्टर्स हु कई एक्टर होते हैं वो अकेले एक्टिंग करते हैं वो दूसरे को सुनते नहीं हैं तो वो तो आई लाइक एक्टर्स हु एक्ट विद यू अब आप बात कर रहे हैं आपने सवाल पूछा मैं आपसे जवाब दे रहा हूँ अगर आप कुछ बोल रहे हैं मैं किसी और जोन में हूँ तो ये दे एक्ट विद यू सो विच इज विच इज फिर वो मजा आता है फिर सम मैजिक हैपन्स आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड रिगार्डिंग सीनियर्स और जूनियर्स योर इन अ कैरेक्टर देयर वो पहले थोड़ा सा होता है आई मीन हम भी जब नए आए थे तो यू नो वर्क विद सीनियर एक्टर्स तो एक थोड़ा रहता है कि कैसे बट आई थिंक just in a scene or two all that you just it's a level playing field yeah that's all anshuman i have seen uh, his journey from uh, lsd and uh, um he is extremely is a very natural actor um so you're seeing improvement mujhe to jo lsd mein jo chahiya tha wohi usne kiya choranga mein hamari film mein jo chahiya tha wohi kiya so I don't know improvement uh, as a because he was good even then. जो L S D में चाहिए था वो किया चौरंगा में जो मोना डालिंग में चाहिए था वो किया. So he's been good, but he's very hardworking. Or he has um, a very uh, he has a nature. मुझे याद है चौरंगा जब casting हो रही थी तो ये आया director से मिला कि मैं ये role करना चाहता हूँ. हालांकि ज़्यादा length नहीं थी उस role में. And that showed me another side of एंड वो आजकल कम देखने को मिलता है कि भाई रोल लंबा नहीं है तो नहीं करेंगे वो छोटा रोल था बट प्रेजेंस थी इस कैरेक्टर के डायलॉग्स ही नहीं है फिल्म में चौरंगा में अगर आप नोटिस करेंगे कुछ गालियाँ थी वो सेंसर आउट हो गई थी तो बेसिकली साइलेंट रोल बन गया था तो बट ही डिड नॉट हेजिटेट एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू डू दैट रोल एंड दैट्स अ साइन ऑफ अ गुड एक्टर यू नो वन ऑफ वन ऑफ द साइंस फॉर श्योर या सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट Uh, I would say, not improvement is the wrong word, but in terms of his journey, he's moved very fast. And one of the youngest, or probably the youngest, producers of uh, film. I, I produced my first film when I was, uh, uh, I think, 34. And you're not even in 30s. I think he's 30. So, turning 30, he's produced his first film independently, without any studio backing, which is wonderful, commendable. Thank you so much. Thank you. जी चौबीस को हमें बड़ी रिलीज मिल रही है बड़ा सिंपल सा फंडा है बहुत मेहनत से फिल्म बनाई है वी वॉन्ट टू रीच इट आउट टू एज मेनी पीपल एज पॉसिबल तो अगर हमें एक्स स्क्रीन मिल रहे थे सत्रह को तो एक्स प्लस वाई हो गया है अब तो दैट वॉज अ नो ब्रेनर क्योंकि सत्रह को सडनली दो चार छोटी छोटी फिल्में आ गई थी और ऑस्कर वीक शुरू हो रहा है सत्रह से तो इतनी मेहनत करके फिल्म बनाई है इट शुड रीच आउट whether the film works doesn't work that's the film's destiny our effort has been to make it with an intention uh, honest intention and make it entertaining now if it doesn't reach out as much as it can it will be very disappointing so we were getting a bigger release on 24th therefore we didn't even think twice and it's just one week 
तो रीसेंट पास्ट में ऐसा कुछ कुछ नया नहीं है बैंगिस्तान के साथ एक्सेल के साथ हुआ था बैंगिस्तान वॉज पुश बाई वीक बिकॉज दे वर गेटिंग मोर स्ट्रीम सो वी आर नॉट दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम इट्स हैपन एंड आई एम श्योर आगे भी होता रहेगा सो दे फॉर वी पुश्ड इट बाई वीक यार ये तो बहुत ही बेहतरीन सवाल है वो नॉर्मली तीन दिन पहले पता चलता है प्रोग्रामर्स बट सी द स्क्रिप्ट इज अ इज समथिंग व्हिच इज फॉर अ फॉर जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल इट्स नॉट एज नीश एज अ से आई टेक माय फिल्म्स नेम एज अ चौरंगा एंड इट इज नॉट अ ब्लॉकबस्टर स्टार कास्ट फिल्म एज द एंटी कैंपेन सेज सो इट विल बी समवेयर इन द मिडल ऑफ वॉट uh indie festival film release versus a uh, uh, a film with uh, you know more and more commercial backing so it will be a reasonable number i can assure you that it will be pan india it will be a reasonable number Well, I haven't done one, so I've, it would have been fun to do one, but <laughs> I'm not, not disappointed at all because this film was very different, and I knew what I was getting into the moment I uh, heard about it from the, from the fir- for the first time from Anshuman and when I read Shashi's script. So there's no place for an item number in this. <laughs> There's just a number on the beach, yeah. and beach has no trees, so which is why they said no running around the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Even the song which is there in the film is. Uh, more like a background to the story going forward it's not a isolated song piece in itself and uh, that's the whole beauty of the screenplay which shashi has written that everything in the script beat the characters the script is the hero which is the idea behind uh, every film that i have done so far and which i will continue to do going forward where the script is bigger than uh anything else because eventually we associate with films if the script works uh and that's the single most important thing that i have learned whether i have worked with uh, debakar banerji in lsd or janaki vishwanathan another national award winner in bakrapur or onir and sanjay again national award winners in choranga that if the script is rich and if it's something you believe in then the film will be something you'll be proud of how well it does or it doesn't is the film's destiny but that's the basic thought and understanding which i am backing which i have learnt over the past 14 years that i have been here my first film as an assistant director was tere naam and i was 16 years old then so between then and now whatever i have learnt is what i have put into practice in terms of script understanding uh, be it my work on stage or on screen or as an ad uh gauri shinde who's directed english winglish and uh, dear zindagi i was her first first ad on her first ad when she directed when she turned director uh, so beat her beat oshim haluwalia i was with oshim beat ram madhwani who directed neerja i was with him for 6 odd months i have learnt whatever i could during my journey with them and it's they've all taught me the same thing that the biggest thing is the script even in an ad film so if you would pick up my ad campaigns i have done about 12 i have left about 12 after lsd and they've been because it can't be a generic even in an ad there's a story to tell so it's always the bible which i follow and shashi as a writer is a huge talent i feel and we should back good writing talent and which is what we are going to do as uh, first stray films and uh, yeah we'll make good films because we believe in uh, content being richer or bigger than anyone and everything else <laughs> rejecting no i i don't think i reject them yeah even i don't i just like you accept all of them ignore Not ignore all them. of them i mean if they're good looking See this is what what if the good looking person is not actually good looking at the other end maybe it's a fake picture that's exactly what mona darling deals with good looking people can kill people too and good looking people can kill people too that's true yeah. that would be mine i guess that you need to watch wait and watch you, you, you might be getting one tonight you need <laughs> to watch mona darling to figure that out but may i ask a question to shashi on your on like uh, please yeah. please yes, yeah Uh, 
the you know the entire script and you directed it like how was your experience writing and directing a thriller you know it's i mean and uh, i have seen you work for like a week and it was i was impressed uh, really like i yeah i mean uh, not because it, it's you but like it's really hard to be a director you know i mean you know to just go about everything so how was your experience working with all, like all of them for the oh, first time the i'll i'll answer the first question first uh the the writing directing you know or whatever else that comes after it the trick is in not thinking of the whole uh you know the whole mountain in front of you the idea is taking it one step at a time so when you're when you're writing something you know you just write and not really worry about anything else and then uh the moment you're on set then it is somebody else's script it's i don't even consider it to be something that i have written because at this point you are you're just directing the movie you know once you're done with that when we're editing it somebody else has directed it because now i have to approach it with a you know a fresh point of view so you know that's how i i don't mean to say that's how everybody does it but you know it seems to have worked in my uh, you know in my case as far as working with everybody else i mean the cast that's present here the rest of the cast and and our crew and everything someone said directing is hiring the right kind of people the right kind of talent and then staying the hell out of the way and i think that's exactly what i've done i've picked i tried and picked with you know able help from uh, anshuman uh, everybody who's played the the smallest bit part to you know the main leads as well as our our above the line crew below the line crew everybody we have picked the right person for the right job and then all i had to do was you know stay out of their way Thank you. It's a very interesting story with Shashi. I was 10 years, 11 years ago. I was 19 years old. Uh, Shashi was Nagesh Kukunur's associate on Iqbal. Iqbal, and I was assisting Subhash Ghai on a film called Black and White. And Shashi had pitched his script to Mr. Ghai. So I read Shashi's first script 11 years ago. It was a film called Psychic Kick, and I was blown away by that script also. So uh yeah it's interesting how that came to 2011 when he offered me Mona as a as an actor because he saw LSD and he had the script which a studio was backing uh, and it's so imagine I love fell in love with the script which he wrote then now this one and uh, fingers crossed we'll be doing something this summer as well